Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM stepping equation in order to calculate step frequency when you know step height and the oxygen consumption that is targeted for that workout. So let's go ahead and use a question to help us frame all of this though. And we have Sean, who is a client at your gym. Uh, he is using an aerobic step to work his cardiorespiratory fitness. The only step available is 15 inches tall, so we know the, the step height and there's nothing he can do about it. Um, and he was prescribed a work rate that equals 30 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute um, in order to get the appropriate stimulus for his training. How fast must he step in order to accomplish this? All right, so. We have some known variables here, so let's go over those first. The exercise that is going to be done is stepping, right? So that's gonna be important for determining the appropriate uh, equation to use. Um, we know the height of the step or the box that he's using because it's the only one available, so it's 15 inches tall. And we know the oxygen consumption rate that he needs to reach, which is 30 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram body mass per minute. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert the step height from inches to meters because that's what the ACSM formula is expecting to have entered into it is meters. So if you entered inches, you'd get incorrect values for everything else. So 15 inches times 0.0254, which is the conversion factor from inches to meters, is gonna give you 0.381 meters. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the stepping equation. The stepping equation itself is uh, VO2 in relative units, so milliliters per kilogram uh, of body mass, uh, milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute is equal to open parentheses 0.2 times the frequency of the stepping, close parentheses, plus open parentheses again 1.33 times 1.8 times the height of the step times the frequency of the, the stepping, close parentheses again plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. And this 3.5 being the resting component of the exercise. So we need to rearrange this in order to isolate the F, which is the frequency. All right, the first thing that we need to do though, is we have two Fs in this equation. So we need to combine them so that we only have one F. All right, and we have a set of parentheses here with an F, another set of parentheses here with an F, and uh, an addition sign in between them. So if we pull the F out of each of these set of parentheses, um, it will be essentially saying that we need to multiply the 0.2, but we're gonna put it on the outside, and we need to multiply the 1.33 times the 1.8 and, and the, the H, uh, but we're gonna put the F on the outside there. But when we do that, when we pull the, the Fs out of both of those sets of parentheses, we can actually combine it into a single F, um, and we can also combine these parentheses. So we combine these two Fs for a single F here, and we're gonna be multiplying because that's what the, the F was doing in these two uh, parentheses is multiplied against everything. Um, but we're gonna combine this 0.2 with the rest of this, but with an, this addition sign brought in. So we end up with the frequency times uh, in parentheses 0.2 plus 1.33 times 1.8 times the height and we still have the plus 3.5 at the end. Um, now that we have only a single F in the equation, we can start rearranging the equation further in order to isolate the F on, the, on one side of the equation away from everything else. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the plus 3.5 at the end by subtracting 3.5 from both sides of the equation, which essentially is just moving the 3.5 to the other side and uh, switching the sign to the opposite sign so we end up with uh, oxygen consumption minus 3.5 equals everything else left on the right side of the equation. Then we can go ahead and move everything that's in this parenthesis um, since it's all uh, together and uh, it's not uh, including the F anymore. We move this whole thing to the other side uh, so it's multiplied on the right side of the equation. So let's divide it on both sides of the equation, canceling it out from the right in moving it to the right with a division sign. And when we do that, we wanna put some uh, parentheses in with what was already on the right side of the equation so that we make sure that we do things in the proper order. So we end up 
with our final rearrange equation, uh, we have relative VO2 minus 3.5, and this is in parentheses, divided by, open parentheses again, 0 0.2 plus 1.33 times 1.8 times the height, close parentheses, equals our step frequency. So let's go ahead now and start entering our values. Um, so we're going to put in here, I'm going to scroll up a little further. We're going to put in here the 30 milliliters per, of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. That is our work rate and oxygen consumption units that we are looking for for this exercise about. We're going to put that in here. Um, we're going to keep this the same. This is the resting component. We're going to keep all these three the same because these are just constants in the equation. And we know our step height was 0 0.381 meters. This was when we converted it from inches. Um, and now we can actually start to solve for some of this in order to figure out the step frequency. So let's do the first set of uh, parentheses first. So 30 minus 3.5 gives us 26.5 mLs per kg per minute. Um, then we have this second set of parentheses that we need to deal with. So let's just go straight across from, uh, actually no, we need to, uh, so let's start with all the multiplication. We'll come back to the, the addition here. So multiplication first, remember. So 1.33 times 1.8 gives us 2.394. Then we need to do the same thing again, 2.394 times the 0 0.381. This gives us the 0 0.912 that we have here. Um, and now we can do the addition. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.912, that gives us 1.112. And so all we have left is this less, last step, this division step here. So 26.5 divided by 1.112, that gives us our step frequency of 23.83 steps per minute um, for this exercise bout. So now that we're at the very end here, we're going to round the 23.83 to 24. Uh, we didn't want to round in any of the previous steps because we didn't want to have compounding, uh, rounding errors affecting our final result. Um, so always keep your decimals until the last step. But again, 24 steps per minute is what uh, we need to prescribe here in order to get the exercise intensity that we're looking for. So. Hopefully this wasn't too bad um, and hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.